Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm Glig Geeky and today we're looking at Affinity Designer 2. Did you know when you put a new object in there, it's going to go in there and it's going to go over the top, as you can see in this layers panel here. You can move them around like this if you want to, so that it goes behind rather than in front. As you can see there, it's in front of the heart, but it is behind the star. So if I can move it down a bit again, I can move it to there. And now we've got behind those things there. So that's one way of moving objects around within the layers. But what if you want to put something in there and have it go directly inside something? So you can do that and I can set it up so that I go to the layer menu, go to insertion and change that to inside. And next time I do one of these things here, it's going to go inside. When you see it there, it's not inside anything. It's outside of stuff. But if we change colour of it first of all, so it's a fill of blue at the moment. Let's have it so that we can fill it. And we'll fill it with purple. Okay, so now you can see that it's there, but it's not there because it is actually inside the rectangle. So let's get it and move it over here. And actually, as I move it over the rectangle, you can see that it actually appears because now it is inside that object and not behind it or in front of it. And what I did was is I went into the settings. So let's go into settings with command and comma. And in settings, I went to shortcuts. And in shortcuts, I went to this one here. So I went to uh, layer menu. And in layer menu, I set it up so that this one here, we've got uh, this shortcut of option command and I for it to go to inside. And I found that after a short while, it actually will go back to the default. So you don't have to worry about putting it back. Or maybe you'll have to think about it using the same command again if you wanted to start going inside again. Or you can set one of these to go to the top or behind or have it just have one for set up the default. So for instance, if I want the default one, let's put one in there for option command and D. And let's close that. Now it's set, let's have a look. So go to layer, insertion, and it's set back to default again. So if I want to put another object in there. So let's uh, select this, this object here, the heart. And what I want to do is I want to do uh, Command, Option and I. And then I'm going to draw another object. Let's draw it with the pen tool this time. And you see this time it's going inside the heart. Because I set it to go inside and not behind or on top. How cool is that then? If I go back into this Layers menu again now, let's have a look in the Layers menu and go to insertion, you see it's already gone back into default. So if I want to put the next thing in there, then I'm going to have to do that shortcut again. So there's my star. Do the uh, command option and I again, and we'll do another object. We'll do a square this time, and I'll draw that over there. Look, the rectangle only shows up when it's actually sort of over the top of this uh, star, because it's w within the star. Okay, so if I get that and move it around, you can see that that's the way that works. So there you go, so that's how you can set it up so that you can decide exactly where an object is going when you're placing them on your design. You can put them on the top, you can put them behind, you can put them inside, or you can just leave it as default and it will default to the top. I'm Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, bye bye now.